Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna take you through a little fit style workout. This is a block, a sample block that we would do in one of our classes here at Longevity. What I'm gonna be needing today, I got two sliders here, and then I got a little pad for my elbows. You can use towels, you can use socks if you have a floor, and I'm also gonna offer modifications for a lot of these exercises that won't require any sliding or anything like that. So I'm going to be taking you through 14 exercises, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You could roll through this four or five times. That should be about an hour's worth of work. And I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it here. So starting off, we got a squat to reverse lunge. So it's going to be with your body weight, feet about hip width apart, squat down, and then step it back into that reverse lunge. Squat down, step it back, other side, back and forth. We got this for 40 seconds. Bring it down, step it back. Down, step it back. I'm trying to keep my feet on a train track here so I'm not stepping diagonal. I'm going straight back into that reverse lunge. Straight back, keeping those hips square. Finishing off with the glutes. Every single rep. We're going to go 10 more seconds here with that squat to reverse lunge. Five. Four, three, two, one, good. All right, next up, we got a split squat jump. So this one's a little more high impact. I'm gonna get that going here in three, two, one, right here. So I'm jumping, alternating legs, switching the feet in the air. This one's pretty challenging to do. If you prefer, you can always just modify that to a reverse, or I'm sorry, a front lunge, back and forth. You can also start off doing that jumping lunge, and then as that gets to be too challenging, transition into that front lunge. But I encourage you to challenge yourself, if you can, get these jumping lunges going. We got five. Four, three, two, one, good. Next up, we're going into a side lunge. We're just gonna go back and forth. So wide stance here, and we're getting right into it. So 40 seconds here, working that side lunge. If you wanna get deep into it, I'm all for it. But if you just wanna kinda of reduce that range, Kind of take it back and forth. If you're feeling out of breath after those jumping split squats, that's okay. You see I'm kind of varying how deep I get into it. That's up to you to find a good range of motion that's challenging and comfortable for you. All right, 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Ten second rest. What we got next are some speed skaters. So this is another high impact one. If you don't wanna, if you wanna avoid the high impact, maybe just do a curtsy launch. Okay, so that's the low impact version. This is the high impact version. Speed skater, back and forth. If you want to make it more challenging, you drop down, touch the toe, touch the floor. Really try to get explosive, bouncing it back and forth. Remember, if that gets to be too difficult, we can transition into that curtsy, that curtsy lunge. And we're going five, four, three, Two, one, good. All right, now we're getting down onto all fours. We're gonna work these bird dogs. So we're gonna get a little core work going. In three, two, one. So opposite hand, opposite leg going out, and then coming down, other side. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Pretending you got a cup of water on the center of your back. Don't let it spill. Minimal shifting of the hips. Back and forth here. Good. That's 
it, that's it. Feel your core. Get that leg up. Try to get a nice square position here, hips and shoulders. 10 seconds. Remember to breathe. In the nose, out the mouth. Three, two, one, go. All right. We're going to transition into some upper body work here. This one's called an archer push up. So I'm grabbing my two sliders or towers or whatever you have there. We're going to get into that high plank position. We're going down, kicking the arm out, pushing up, going down. Keeping that arm out, pushing up. Modified version, going from the knees. You should feel a good stretch across the chest as you push that arm out. Every rep, squeezing through the chest, down and up. Working these archer push ups, is what these are called. And we got 10. Five, three, two, one, good. All right, sticking with the upper body work here. We're gonna get in that high plank position. We're just gonna lift an arm up, back and forth. I'm getting into it now. Just 10 seconds in between each exercise here. Just make sure you're pacing yourself. Making sure to keep those hips and shoulders square as best you can. Keep that core tight. Avoid sagging of the hips. Back and forth here. In that high plank position. We can obviously work these from the knees as well. We got five. Four, three, two, one, good. Next up, got a slow push up. So we're going into a slow descending push up. Now that's going to look like this right here. So we're going down. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. So you can obviously do that from the knees. Harder version off the knees. Maybe even go down off the knees and then come up on the knees. Down off the knees, up on the knees. Couple options there for you. With the slow descending push ups. So three seconds on the way down and then push it up. Whew! Keep breathing. You got this. We got three, two, one, good. All right, next up, we're gonna be feeling these shoulders, holding that high plank position again. We're just going shoulder taps with it. Back and forth, 40 seconds. Holding steady with it. Feeling that burn. Feeling that burn in the shoulders, in the chest. Back and forth. You can make these fast. Remember, pace yourself here. Don't go so fast that you burn out too quick. We got 10 seconds. Go to the knees if it gets too challenging. Three, two, one, good. All right. Next up. One more upper body movement. We're gonna go up, down planks. So I'm starting on my elbows here. I'm going up on one side, down on that same side, and then switch up on the other side. So up on the right, down on the right. Up on the left, down on the left. Once again, you can do these from the knees or up in that high plank position off your toes. Just remember, whichever side you go down with, you're going up, on that same side, back and forth. Make sure we're alternating. We'll go five, 
four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Done with the upper body there. Now we're transitioning back over to some lower body work. I'm going to get into a hip bridge. Get my sliders ready for the next exercise after, but we're just going with the feet on the ground here with the hip bridge. Getting those hips up into the air, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. I'm going to pause there at the top for about two seconds and really feel that squeeze in each and every rep. Making sure my knees are tracking over top of my ankles, not letting them cave in. Good. Keep working, keep working, we got this. 10 seconds. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze that core. Try to maintain that neutral pelvis. Three, two, one, good. All right, next up, busting out the sliders again. Getting my feet on those sliders. We're gonna work some leg curls here in three, two, one. So hips up, legs out, curl in and down. Hips up, out, in, down. Trying to pull those heels in towards my butt. So hips up, going out, bring them back in, and down. Really feeling the hands back of the legs. That's where the tension should be. We got 20 more seconds here. Keep working. Got my hands out by my side. That's going to help with the stability here. Keeping that focus Whew. on the hamstrings. And three, two, one, time. All right, next up, get into a side plank position. So I got my pad here set up. And this one, we're just gonna work one side for 40 seconds and then we'll work the other. So get into that side plank position and then I'm sliding that leg out in front of here. Backing forward with it. Working those hips. Working that glute medius, those adductors. Keep it going. If it gets to be too challenging from that position, you can always put one leg down in the 90 degree position there. Try to stay square with it. Keeping my shoulders stacked. Bringing that leg out in front and then swinging it back. Three, two, one, other side. So we're in that side plank position. We're sliding that leg out in front of us. Keeping those hips high. Keeping those shoulders stacked as best you can there. Lots of core engagement here. A lot going on in general. Once again, if that gets too hard, put that knee down 90 degrees. Keep working. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, one last exercise to finish it off. We've got mountain climbers. So we're getting both feet on the sliders. We're working those mountain climbers in three, two, one. Here we go. We're driving those knees up towards my chest, back and forth. Feeling that core. Whoo! Almost there. Almost there. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, time. Good work. Oh yeah, I want to make sure to offer some modifications about the slider. So with those side planks, I would just have to hold that position without doing the sliders. And then with the leg curls, I would just have you continue to work those glute bridges instead of doing the leg curls. And then the archer push-ups. 
I would have you just do regular push-ups. One second down, one second up as modifications. So I'll do that four or five times and you got yourself a really nice workout.